gonna go ahead and take it away. We got it, and we're here with Owamne Oduwamne <laughs> and Kasing of uh, H2K after, I mean, another great performance by H2K, something we've grown accustomed to in the Spring Split. Glad to see it continuing. Oduwamne, uh, Krepo said it there, fantastic game for you on uh, NAR. You were against the new top laner, Steve, which is kind of the wild card in that. Tell me about the lane experience, because you guys, you guys were focusing him pretty hard. Yeah, like, we focused him really bad, and we made him look bad, even though he's... He's okay. He's good. He, he has good mechanics and his laning phase is, is pretty good. So he just got unlucky with this game that we, he got camped so hard. Yeah, quite unlucky. And your NAR, as said, very impressive, although uh, he had some beef to settle here with stress before the interview. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, okay. Maybe I was a little bit harsh last time I sat here. We, we were talking about your champion pool, and certainly uh, you've been a big part of, uh, of especially engaged tools for H2K, big part of your wins, big part of your team fighting. Um, that game was great on NAR for you. Uh, one thing that is a, kind of a, a casting team, we were coming into this and we were saying, what does H2K need to do? And... In our minds, you guys have just got to do the same as you did last split, but refine it again. I wanted to get your guys' thoughts on uh, Kissing. Have you changed the game plan at all uh, for H2K as a team coming into this split, or are you doing more of the same? Uh, I think it's just, <coughs> it's just probably doing more for the team units. Like, probably has done a lot for us <laughs> regarding what we do and stuff. And like personally, I feel like we have a more of a plan now since last split. Like, I was still new to the team, and it was still like our first split together. But this split is like, we have much more experience now coming, like even though we came third, and mm -hmm. I think we're more prepared for this, this split. All right, um, I heard you talking in the video before Giants, you were talking about the Kasing effect, what something can bring to a team. Something I saw in this game was dying to Baron. Is that also an aspect <laughs> of the Kasing effect or? Someone, someone had to tank. And if, look, it was either I die, <laughs> or Fiona dies, or Odone dies, so I'll... Not me. Not you. But at that point in the game, actually, um, you guys, you knew you wanted to take the Baron, but you kind of, I feel like you guys also knew after about 10, 12 minutes, we know exactly where we're going to go with this, and even if you tank the Baron and die, it's going to end up fine. Yeah. That oh. was not a question yeah. at all. <laughs> well, I, I, I guess I kind of do have a question. And, uh, you know, talking about Kissing and Hyanan, you two are, uh, you know, you get on very well with social media. Everybody's seen it. Uh, in a split where everybody shuffled 80 carries, you guys stayed with the same roster, obviously feeling very confident in the duo bot lane. Where do you think you stack up against the rest of the European bot lanes? Um. Well, this game, personally, it wasn't really a great showing for me and Hyun because we lost with a matchup that we should win, I think. Mm -hmm. And we pretty much, a lot of <clears throat> unlucky stuff that happened at level 1 because I, I took full XP on Grump and Hyun and, like, they, they got full XP as well. And then, yeah, we just lost lane from there and it was quite embarrassing. Mm -hmm. But regarding 2v2, I feel like me and Hyun are, like, the best at the moment. I mean, that's quite quite, quite a a by far statement, but <laughs> 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 but yeah, uh, yeah. I just think 2v2, I feel like me and he are really confident right now. All right. Well, I have to pass over the same question to Odo Wamne. You don't have to make a huge statements if you don't want to, but maybe uh, concerning the meta and how the game is played right now, how at ease do you feel? Mm, I'm really comfortable with the champions that are played at the moment. They're all really comfort champs for me, and I enjoy playing them, and I have a lot of fun, and I just... I just feel like I can do whatever I want when I play those champions, so I'm really comfortable with the current meta. All right, well, there we go. All off to a good foot in the summer split for H2K. Congratulations, very fun interview as well. And in just a few minutes, the Copenhagen Wolves will scare, square off against SK Gaming, where we'll see how the team adapts to their new old AD carry. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Oh no, oh, oh, oh no, oh, she's confident. Oh no, oh. Oh no, no, no. Glitter Lance goes, but Yankos is the target as they put the wild growth on him. Will it be enough? No. The spears get ripped out of him, but it's all they can do to stay alive in a 1v2. Ryu diving onto Woolite. Does he have the damage? He does. I, I make out to you. He's done. He's done. Okay. Okay. I got him. Easy. See ya. Bye. Fall down, that's a double kill over to Woolite before he himself melts. Vander chased all the way back to his fountain as H2K completely clean house. And a fantastic match for H2K as they finish this one off in serious style.